the reason I came up with it was, um, remember I talked about how I was on that TV show called Pet Star? Mm -hmm. And within a week, I saw the audition flyer. Within a week, I had an act and a polished act that I could go on stage with. Why was I able to do that within a week? Because I had already trained these. And what I find with people is like, like, oh, can your dog do tidy up your toys into a toy box? Well, he can kind of do it, but I still have to hover over him. And he never quite learned opening the lid. And, you know, can he do rollover? Yeah, but I still have to use a little bit of food and hover over him. Well, finish a damn trick. Like, finish it, get it, get one trick so you can stand back, tidy up your toys, and the dog does it. Like, have just finish, do that last 20% of it to have it finished. And I got frustrated that people would, like, train the beginning parts and then get bored and go into the next trick before they had like finalized it. So what this goal makes you do is like, no, you have to actually finish the trick. You have to be able to say rollover and your dog actually does the rollover. You have to be able yeah, to, you know, it, it helps, it sets the standard, says here's the finished product. And by having a goal like that, um, with the reward of the, at the end of getting a title for your dog, that's, that's a great way to motivate people and to, to structure your training.